Freedom, 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 freedom! I said freedom! Guys, it's happening. Nintendo NX is now officially the Nintendo Switch. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Nintendo Switch, uh, I'm not too really excited for the name of the Switch. I say, like, hey man, you got a Switch? Hey, you, yo, Nintendo Switch? Yo, yo, we can come to my house, play some Nintendo Switch. I'm not too fun about that name. Could have been better, but you know, whatever. What I'm really excited for is what it is and what it does. And all of this right here is official Nintendo press release, which I'm gonna share with you about the Switch. It's gonna be so hard for me switching over from saying the NX to the Switch. Oh my god, I'm so ready. I'm so hyped. If you guys haven't seen my hype test reaction, I'm gonna leave a comment in the description box. But let's go! Alright. Nintendo Switch will premiere to demonstrate new entertainment experiences from a home gaming system. And here we go. Detachable controllers reinvent gaming. Redmond, Washington, October 20th. Today, in an introductory video released today, Nintendo provided the first glimpse of its new home gaming system, revealed that it's called the Nintendo Switch. In addition to providing single and multiplayer thrills at home, the Nintendo Switch system also enables gamers to play the same title wherever, whenever, and who and with whomever they choose. The mobility of a handheld is now added to the power of a home gaming system to enable unprecedented new video game playstyles. At home, the Nintendo Switch rests on the Nintendo Switch dock that connects to the, si to the system, connects the system to the TV, and lets you play with families and friends in the comfort of your living room. By simply lifting the Nintendo Switch from the dock, the system will instantly transition to a portable mode, and the, and the same great experiences that was enjoyed at home now travels with you. The portability of the Nintendo Switch is enhanced by its bright, high-definition display. It brings the full home gaming system experience you to the park, on an airplane, in a car, or to a friend's apartment. Gaming system springs into action by removing detachable Joy-Con controllers, that's what the controller is being called, Joy-Cons, from either side of the Nintendo Switch. One player can use a Joy-Con controller in each hand, two people can use and take, e uh, can take each one and use them as controllers, or multiple Joy-Cons can be employed by numerous people for a Joy-Con grip a variety of gameplay options. I'm like, my reading is just like They can easily clip back into place or be slipped onto a Joy-Con grip accessory mirroring that of a more traditional controller. Or, if preferred, the gamer can select an optional Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to use instead of the Joy-Con controllers, which I gotta say, that shit looks dope. Alright, the Wii U Pro Controller, I was like, eh, but when I saw the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, I'm like, it has a matte finish. Thank you, God, because nasty ass glossy shit, man. Fingerprints everywhere. All right. The Nintendo, uh, furthermore, it's possible for numerous people to bring their Nintendo Switch systems together and enjoy local multiplayer face to face in face to face competition. The Nintendo Switch allows gamers the freedom to play however they like, says Reggie Fusume, president and CEO of Nintendo America. It gives game developers new abilities to bring their creative visions to life by opening up the concept of gaming without boundaries. And now they go into a big ass developer list that supports Nintendo. Nintendo with this third party support. Because from the trailer, we saw that 2K and Bethesda are going to be supporting this thing with Skyrim Remastered, what we believe to be Skyrim Remastered, and uh, NBA 2K, whatever year. When I saw that, I'm like, eh, you know, I'm not a fan of Elder Scrolls as much as the next. I mean, I enjoyed the game, but I'm not a huge fan of the sports game here. But the fact that these developers making these games are supporting the Switch, they're making the Switch back to Nintendo, gives me great joy. Just to list a few, I'm just gonna go and run through the list. All right. <clears throat> 505 Games, Activision, Atlas, Autodesk. This isn't everybody, by the way, I'm just running through. Bandai Namco, Bethesda, Capcom, Codemaster, Dina, Electronic Arts, Epic Games, Frozen Byte, Gr uh, Game Trust, Grasshopper Manufacturer, Hamster, Havoc, Kawhi Tecmo, Marvelous, Maximum Games, Priority, Platinum Games, Sega, Silicon, uh, Square Enix, Kingdom Hearts 3, please, Final Fantasy 15, please, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, please, even though we just know like Dragon Quest is coming to the end next. Or I should say, the Switch. Tokyo RPG Factory, Ubisoft, U uh, Unity Technologies, Warner Bros. and Web Technology Corp. And then at the end of everything, once everything's said and done, today's video incorporates short glimpses of representative 
technology and gameplay to demonstrate the liberating nature of the Nintendo Switch home gaming system. Full game demonstrations, the list of launch window titles as, which, as well as a launch date, price, uh, product configuration and related spe uh, specs and specifics will be shown and announced prior to the March launch. With this, this thing is confirmed to be a March launch. My God, I'm not ripping those because though, I need those. I need those. But guys, honestly, as 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 far as the name goes, in the Nintendo Switch, I mean, like it gets the job done. I could have thought, I mean, like a better name would have been better. I thought it was like, because I literally sound like that sounds like a dumbass name, but the concept itself, this is everything the Wii U should have been, you know? And at the same time, it's not truly a hybrid console that a lot of people were just, you know, clamoring about when it comes to the rumor mill and stuff. It's a home console that has portable capabilities, which is great. You know, I want to be able to play this thing at home. I saw a Pro Controller, the Joy-Con grip, all of that looks great, and it's not too gimmicky. Yeah, it has a gimmick, but it's not gimmicky as fuck. I'm pretty sure that the main, the, the portable screen will be as, as touchable as it needs to be, but they're not really banking on that. We didn't see any motion controls. All we saw were people enjoying some bomb ass games on a controller at home or on the go. That's gimmick enough. Nintendo, thank you for not overblowing this shit with gimmicks because you don't have to take this shit outside if you don't want to. You have the shit, put it at home, play at home. If you got no friends, no biggie. Get some friends. But anyways, it's not overblown with any fucking gimmicks. I can just sit, put it on my fucking t uh, table, in front of my TV, play the game on a regular controller. Yes! That's all it needed to be. But hey, as an added bonus, you can take it up on the go. You going to a con? Fuck yeah! PAX East! Please release before PAX East so I can take that shit on my plate. All right, guys, Breath of the Wild came out. Oh, man, I got to go to PAX East with the homeboys, the key keepers, the chamber of sages. Got to see all the people. Man, I really want to play this game. Oh, wait! I can! Gonna take my Nintendo Switch over to the airport, get past TSA, get my ass on the plane, and just play this shit and keep going. And then take that shit. Yo, Sky, yeah, man? Make sure to bring your dog. I ain't bringing mine. I brought my Wii U twice last time. All right, man, I got you. All right, we get at the hotel room, put the dog in place. All right, I got the, I got the Switch. Boom! Mark right, anyone? Splatoon? And now we have confirmation from NVIDIA that NVIDIA is powering the NX. God! The Nintendo Switch. It's going to be powering the Nintendo Switch. And they're using a custom-made Tegra chip. That will optimize it to some great new heights. The, the Switch looks great. I am legitimately excited. I was so scared this thing was going to be stupid and gimmicky. And just like, oh great, the Super Wii, oh great. But no! They take everything away that was detrimental to the Wii U. They put things that should have been on the Wii U. It looks light. It looks accessible. It looks like you run great games. Because if you're running Skyrim on portable, you're going to have to have some power and stuff. You know, people were saying that in the comments. And then Breath of the Wild looks great. Skyrim looks great. Everything looks great about it. A new Mario game. An updated Mario Kart 8. A new, split, a new version of Splatoon. This all looks great. This all looks optimal. You know, because it's it gets to a point where it's optional. Where you you literally like I cannot stress this enough, guys. You don't have to take this on the go. You can play it at home. It's not gimmicky, you can have a regular controller. But then it opens up possibilities by having multiple, like when I saw that they can use a small half of the controller as one controller and play against each other in Mario Kart 8, I, I, I lost my mind. Because I mean like, it gives you all these options, but you don't have to use if it's not overblown with gimmicks that will turn off people that want to buy or develop for those games. And the fucking third party support is insane. It's, this, it's it. It's it. I am ready. Fucking ready for March. Iwata's legacy and the leakers that got this shit right props but there are people who got it wrong mm. 
not non props. But yo, everyone who called this right, yo, mad props. But this could not have given me more excited for this thing because you know Nintendo fanboy shit aside, I am not one to be like, okay, this shit looks like a stupid gimmick. Okay, this is gonna be detrimental. Okay, the graphics on this thing is not that great. You know, I am, I am ready. I will be ready to rip Nintendo a new one. I don't give a fuck. But when I saw this, it it works together. But now all we needed, we're all we're gonna have to see is how well these things run. Because I don't want this thing to like fall apart in my in my hands and stuff. But the concept of it looks great because it's a home system that you can just it, it, that you can take on the go. But you don't have it's a home system. It's a home system and it has great third party support and it has regular controllers. Nintendo, we in this. I can't, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you excited for the Switch? Are you gonna make the Switch? Be honest what you think about the Switch. If you think it looks stupid or you blah, 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 leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm gonna make a ton of videos. Until the next one, I've been HMK and I'll check you guys later.